Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, <coughs> good morning to everyone. Okay, so all my students, please uh, refer to your lecture notes, and we are going to be called this in this video. I will explain to you uh, the last final topic of chapter three, trigonometric functions, as uh, we call stated on the screen here. You know, uh, seven point three solution of trigonometric equation. Okay. Uh, are you, I do hope that all of you are ready with, uh, with me now. <coughs> okay. So, in this part, we're going to express A sine theta plus minus B cos theta in the form of this or this one here and determine the maximum and minimum values of trigonometric expression in the form of this. Okay. So, <coughs> this type of equation can be solved uh, by using two different methods. Okay. Uh, using the substitution of t equal to tangent theta over 2 as a previous example in lecture 3. Okay, please refer to lecture part 3 right here. And another one here is express a cos theta plus minus b sine theta as are this one here. Okay, for this, uh, I rewrite all this again. R sine theta plus minus alpha okay same goes to this one here the difference is that we got this one here is r cos theta plus minus alpha and r sine plus minus alpha and subsequently solve the equation <coughs> okay so a cos theta plus b sine theta can be expressed in the form of r uh, cos theta plus uh, plus minus alpha or this one here R is magnitude, so magnitude is always positive, so R is greater than zero. Alpha is an angle that must satisfy both of these and R, R sine theta and R cos theta. <coughs> okay, so let's take a look at this one here, the first example of this topic uh, in, the, in this video. Okay, now. Okay, so before I continue with this example, let's refresh uh, our recall previous knowledge in part 1 or part 2 of this uh, topic uh, where cos, okay, no, sine theta plus alpha equal to sine theta cos alpha plus minus cos theta sine alpha okay and for cos theta plus minus alpha equal to okay still remember this equal to cos theta cos alpha minus plus sine theta sine alpha okay so this is the idea and this is what we call the things that we need that we are going to use in this part, in these videos, to solve the express of 2 sin theta 5 cos alpha in the form of this one here. And given that uh, <coughs> R is positive and alpha lies in between 0 and 90 degree. So we have to solve the equation of uh, 2 okay, according to the question here now with theta in between 0 degree up to 360 degree. <coughs> okay, so now the first one here. <coughs> okay, so now let 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta equal to, okay, r sine theta plus alpha okay so let's expand this first r okay in between here it is sine theta cos alpha plus cos theta sine alpha okay so expand this, then come out with R sine theta cos alpha plus R cos 
theta sine alpha. Okay, so then let the, don't forget that this expansion equal to the question here where it is 2 sine theta plus 5 cos alpha cos theta. Okay, so now comparing the one on the left side with all the expansion on the other side. Comparing and equating, okay, by comparing and equating by comparing and equating the coefficient The coefficient of sine theta and cos theta. So then, okay, 2 sine theta we compare with this one here. Okay, so it is a. <coughs> so by comparing this 2 sine theta, okay, we got. Okay, sine theta here and also sine theta. Okay, <coughs> by comparing the first term here, 2 sine theta with r sine theta cos alpha, meaning that 2 equal to r cos alpha. And then comparing this one here now, we got cos theta and also cos theta. So, 5 equal to r sine alpha. 5 equal to r sine alpha. This is an equation 1 and this is an equation 2. Okay, now <coughs> it mentioned in the first in the question that alpha lies in between 0 to 90 degree. Don't forget that it's right here. So, alpha lies in between 90, 0 and 90 degree. So, then, <coughs> equation 2 divided by equation 1, okay, the equation 2 divided by equation 1, where R sine alpha divided by R cos alpha equal to 5 over 2. R divided by R. And sine over cos, sine over cos equal to tangent alpha, which is equal to 5 over 2. And alpha equal to arctangent of 5 over 2. <coughs> and this gives you 68.2. Degree. Okay, <clears throat> and then okay. Now we can see well, from earlier we see that this is two sine theta plus five cos theta, and we use this uh, formula here, and we expand it and expand with the r, and then we compare the one on the left side with the one on the other side. So comparing sine theta sine theta, so then two equal to r cos alpha. And 5 cos theta. So we got cos theta here and cos theta. So 5 equal to R sine alpha. <coughs> so we list them all here. And we divide equation 2 equation 1. So from sine over cos equal to tangent alpha. Then alpha equal to 68.2 degree. <coughs> okay, now from here, equation 1 squared plus equation 2 squared equation 1 please do remember that uh, refresh okay from previous this is an equation 1 r cos alpha and then equation 2 r sine alpha okay equation 1 and equation 2 so then <coughs> let's say r squared 
cos square alpha plus r square sine square alpha equal to okay r cos alpha equal to 2 and is equal to 5 here so it is <coughs> 2 square plus 5 square and then factorize r square and r square cos square alpha plus sine square alpha equal to 2 square equal to 4 plus 5 square is 25 then cos square plus sine square do you still remember this uh, sine square x plus cos square x equal to 1 yes <coughs> okay so this is the idea <coughs> that brings us to cos square plus sine square equal to 1. So then r square equal to 25 plus 4 equal to 29. And then r equal to square root of 29. Okay, according to this calculation, actually that we can <coughs> bring up this r equal to plus minus square root of 29 okay but please refer to the questions here where r is positive or greater than zero meaning in this case we are only taking the positive value of r so then r equal to square root of 29 <coughs> so we come up with a conclusion that 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta okay, equal to square root of 29 r and then sine theta plus 68.2 degree. Okay, so this is equation of uh, 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta in the form of r sine theta plus alpha. Okay, uh, let's, meaning that we have solved the first part of this, okay, express this in the form of this with r is positive and alpha is between 0 and 90 degree. We have solved the first part right now. Let's take a look at this. 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta by equal to negative 3. For theta lies in between 0 up to 360 degree. Meaning, the second part after we have solved the first one here, we are going to, okay, we are going to compare 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta equal to negative 3 and we have form okay we have to uh, recall write down this equation this term in the form of r sine theta plus alpha which is square root of 29 and then sine theta plus alpha which is 68.2 degree equal to negative 3. Okay, just now we are right, right done in this form. Okay, so then let's equal, imagine that if this which is equal to negative 3 and this 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta equal to we are equal recall write down in this form. So automatically this is also equal to negative 3 so it's all here now then uh, sine theta plus 68.2 degree equal to negative 3 divided by negative 3 divided by square root of 29 negative 3 divided by square root of 29 equal to 
negative 0 0.5571. So we write down here negative 0 0.5571. Okay, now, theta lies in between 0 up to 360 degree. So then, theta plus 68.2 degree, sorry. Theta plus 68.2 degree. Okay. So then lies in between. Okay. 68.2 degree. 360 plus 68.2 equal to 428.2 degree. And then, because sine angle, sine of any angle equal to negative, okay, the value of sine with any angle equal to negative, okay, uh, first quadrant, let's refresh or make a revision here, simple revision, quadrant number two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Okay. A S T and K or C. All all means that sine, cos and tangent are all positive. In second quadrant is only that sine with positive, so meaning that tangent and cos come up with a negative value here. In the third quadrant, only tangent with a positive and fourth quadrant cos with positive. So, sine theta plus 68.2, sine of any angle equal to negative, meaning we are talking about the sine that gives negative here in this third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So then, 68, okay, theta plus 68 point two degree okay so this one here lies in the and fourth quadrant okay so then the basic angle is thirty three point nine Okay, the basic angle is 33.9 degree. Okay, so might be some of you will ask, from where that 33.9 degree comes from? Okay, so in this case, uh, sine theta plus 68.2 degree in bracket equal to negative 0 0.5571. So, uh, right now, press the button of shift, press button of shift, and then sign. So, it gives you a sign, okay? And then, uh, substitute the value of negative 0 0.5571. And it gives you negative 33.85. So, we consider it as a 33.9 degree even though it's a negative we consider that's one 33.9 uh, as we call the basic angle between 0 and 90 but right now uh, this one here now because it lies in the third and fourth quadrant so we imagine that the 33.9 is here 33.9 degree and also here with 33.9 degree okay so now theta 
plus 68.2 degree equal to okay uh, let's get back to the question then for theta lies in between 0 up to 360 degree okay so then okay so first one here from here and up here and the second angle from here and up here okay so then it is now 180 plus 33.9 equal to 213.9 and then 360 degree minus 33.9 so i'll make this this one here as an 180 degree plus 33.9 degree and the other one here is 360 degree minus 33.9 degree then this is the first angle here which is 213 degree point nine, and also 326.1 degree and then theta equal to 213.9 minus 68.2 which is 145.7 degree 326.1 minus 68.2 then we get 257.1 degree okay now let's take a look at example 2 here express this term in the form of r cos 2x plus alpha okay so now uh, for this one here r cos theta plus alpha okay without this without r okay sorry okay you still remember remember the expected of this cos theta cos alpha minus okay opposite of this positive negative here sine theta and sine alpha okay so now square root of three okay according to the question is a square of three cos 2x minus sine 2x just now uh r cos 2x plus alpha then come out with r cos 2x cos alpha minus sine 2x sine alpha okay so let's compare okay expand this first uh, square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x r cos 2x cos alpha minus r sine 2x uh, no sine not sine not sine 2x and sine alpha okay so let's compare the first one here with this one Where we can have what we have here is right now is cos 2x and cos 
to x and then this one here now sine to x and let's compare with this one here because we got sine to x and also sine to x so the first one here cos to x with cos to x so then uh, r cos alpha equal to square root of 3 equation 1 and r sine alpha equal to okay, sine to x and sine to x means that there's a 1 here so then equal to 1 equation 2 so uh, equation 2 divided by equation 1 which is r sine alpha divided by r cos alpha equal to 1 over square root of 3 and this give you one over square of three equal to alpha okay r divided by r sine over sine over cos equal to tangent alpha equal to one over square root of three then alpha equal to arc tangent of one over square root of three equal to pi over 6 okay so then right now let's compare square root of 3 square root of 3 cos 2x square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x equal to r equal to okay class i forgot something here uh now uh, from equation one equation two and equation two divide by one then we get tangent alpha equal to 1 over square of 3 then alpha equal to pi over 6 and then we come up with uh, equation 1 here plus with equation 2 square equation 1 square plus equation 2 square so then r square cos square alpha plus r square plus sine square alpha equal to square root of 3 square plus 1 square okay and then factorize r square cos square alpha plus sine square alpha okay alpha here sorry equal to square root of 3 square equal to 3 plus 1 square equal to 1 and cos square alpha plus sine square alpha equal to 1 so then r square equal to 4 and r equal to 4 nope sorry <laughs> okay r equal to 2 Okay, not post, not negative, including negative 2 because we want R which is positive. So we're talking R equal to 2 only. And now, let's simplify this. So then, square root of 3, square root of 3, cos 2x minus sine 2x equal to r equal to 2 square of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x equal to 2 and then cos 2x plus with alpha where alpha is pi over 6 
okay and then now he given the square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x equal to 1 see here square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x equal to 1 where x lies in between 0 until 2 pi or 360 degrees, something like that. Okay, in degree and in radian. Okay, now, and we have found that this we can write in the form of this one here. So now, uh, this is 2 and cos 2x plus pi over 6 equal to 1 and cos 2x plus pi over 6 equal to 1 over 2. Okay. Cos of any angle, right now we got cos with angle of 2x plus pi over 6 equal to half. And this is positive. So then, let's double check where is the, which quadrant, which quadrant that represents the cos is positive. Cos positive is lies in the first quadrant and fourth quadrant. Okay. So then, from here, uh, x lies in between 0 degree up to 360 degree or 2 pi. Okay. okay, 0 until 2 pi. And then, 2x equal to 0 until 4 pi and then 2x plus pi over 6 means that here it is 0 plus pi over 6 and also 4 pi 4 pi plus pi over 6 okay And make this one as a 4 pi, 4 times 6 is 24. Uh, 24 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 equal to 25 pi over 6. Okay, so this one come up with 25 pi over 6. 6. Okay, and from here, from this, I uh, recall, uh, test, we can make a conclusion that 2x plus pi over 6 lies in first and fourth quadrant. And then the basic angle of this, um, basic angle means that here, find the arc cos of 1 over 2. Arc cos of 1 over 2 equal to pi over 3. Okay, so from here we had we call uh, declared that cos positive in the first quadrant and fourth quadrant. So the first here is pi over three, and also in the fourth quadrant 
pi over 3. Okay. Now, 2x plus pi over 6 equal to the first angle, which is pi over 3. Okay, the first is pi over 3. And then, 360 degree or 2 pi, 2 pi minus minus pi over 3 and then uh, because let's see here from x lies in between 0 until 2 pi so then 2x plus 4 pi and then uh, 2x plus pi over 6 lies in between uh, more than 4 pi which is more than 720 degree so the first one the second one and then 360 or 2 pi plus pi over 3 okay and then 4 pi 4 pi minus pi over 3 Okay, simplify this. The first one here is pi over 3 and 2 pi. Let's make this one as a 6 pi over 3. So 6 divided by 3 equal to 2. Okay, so it's just like uh, 2 pi minus pi over 3. Okay, 2 times 3 equal to 6. Okay, 6 pi over 3 minus pi over 3 so 6 minus 1 equal to 5 over 3 pi okay short notes here so this one the second part the second angle here which is 5 pi divided by 3 and next is for this one you come up with 7 pi divided by 3 and this one come up with 11 over 3 pi and then 2x equal to so pi over 3 minus pi over 6 it give you pi over 6 and then this one is 3 pi over 2 and then 13 over 6 pi and also here 7 pi divided by 2 and finally x equal to pi over 12 3 pi divided by 4 13 pi over 12 and 7 pi divided by 4. Okay. Okay, so now maximum and minimum values of trigonometric function okay we strictly look into the we call the example because class okay before we get into the example uh let's take a look at the graph of sine okay. y and also x graph of sine it begins at the origin point of zero zero okay raising up down and up okay with the maximum of one and minimum of negative one 
Okay. And for graph of cos, graph of cos, it begins with 1 here. Okay, with this is pi over 2, pi and 3, pi over 2, and 2 pi. Okay, so for graph of this, okay, negative 1, it begins here. with maximum of 1 and also minimum of negative 1. So find the maximum and minimum values, the greatest and least values for 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta. Okay, this is actually, you may refer to the first example. Okay, so for this one, Okay, please refer from example 1. Okay, from example 1, where 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta equal to square root of 29. Okay sine theta plus 68.2 degree. Okay, for example, one, let's refresh the things that we discussed just now. Example one, two sine theta plus five cos theta in the form of this. So we are write down, we wrote down, we call 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta equal to this one here. So we rewrite all this, rewrite all this in this example. Okay. Now, okay, so now sine of any angle it can be a maximum of 1. And also minimum of negative 1. So the maximum value maximum value of 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta equal to square root of 29 multiplied with 1 which is equal to square root of 29 and minimum value of 2 sine theta plus 5 cos theta equal to square root of 29 multiplied with negative 1 equal to negative square root of 29. Example 4, find the maximum and minimum value of this one here. And I think that this is from the example number 2 just now. Let's see. Let's take a look at example 2. Okay. Square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x. So in this example 4, Okay, in this example 4, actually that we get this one here. This is from example 2. 2 minus the exact question example 2 in here. So then, 2 minus square root of 3 cos 2x plus sine. 2x equal to 2 minus k okay, square root of 3 cos 2x plus sine 2x. Okay, so then here right now, which is 2 minus, okay, no, 2 minus 
Okay, all this we have record discuss in chapter uh, example two, and this this equal to two cos two x plus pi over six. Okay, so then here right now, for cos of two x or cos of any angle here with a maximum of 1 and minimum of negative 1. Now, for maximum value of the whole equation, which is, okay, look at this one here, 2 minus 2 times negative 1, which is equal to 2 negative times negative positive 2 equal to 4 and minimum value equal to 2 minus 2 times 1 and 2 minus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so then now, uh, to recall, uh, to recall for these questions here, find the maximum, find the maximum of x when the expression is maximum and minimum for x in between 0 until 2 pi. Okay, we have solved the first part here. And now, the expression of maximum The expression is make this maximum. Okay, so two minus two cos two x plus pi over six equal to four. The maximum is four here just now, and then um, okay, two bring up here. 4 minus 2, then equal to 2, and divide by negative 2, cos equal cos 2x plus pi over 6, negative 2 divided by 2 equal to negative 1. Okay, so then, given, given of x in between, 0 until 2 pi okay so then 2x as in between 0 until 4 pi and also 2x plus pi over 6 which is equal to 0 plus pi pi over 6 which is pi over 6 and 4 pi plus 5 over 6, as we said, discussed in example 2, 25 pi divided by 6. Okay. Now, okay, so the expression of graph here, okay, is between 1 and negative 1 okay the graph okay we end up at this point here okay so then uh, the graph with the minimum of Okay, we minimum of negative one here. So then this is a graph of y equal to cos x. Okay, so then two x 
plus pi over 6 equal to pi n 3 pi. Okay, cos equal to negative 1 here, negative 1. This is pi over 2 and this is pi. Okay, so pi with a minimum of negative 1 here. Okay, and then the graph will slow down again. Okay, this is pi over 2, pi 3, pi over 2, and 2 pi. And here again, with a we call the value of 3 pi. Okay, so now 2x plus pi over 6 equal to pi and 3 pi. So then 2x equal to 5 pi over 6 and also 17 over 6 pi. So then x equal to 5 pi over 12 and also 17 over 12 pi. Okay, because the range of 2x plus pi over 6 uh, until 25 pi over 6, which is more greater than a little bit of 4 pi. So, in this range, for negative 1, it lies for x equal to pi and also 3 pi here. Okay. And then, the expression... The expression is minimum okay so 2 minus 2 cos 2x plus pi over 6 equal to 0 then divide okay bring up here and minus 2 equal to and then equal to negative 2 and divide by negative 2 equal to cos 2x plus pi over 6 equal to 1. Okay, so I simplified this where 2x plus pi over 6 lies in between 0 until, okay, nope, 0, pi over 6 until 25 pi divided by 6. And again, from the graph of cos x, okay, sorry. So then from here, where this is pi over 2, and this is pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi, and here is 3 pi. Now, um, for this, which is equal to 1, 1 here, okay, just imagine that this is also... Okay, so between 4, 0, and then 2 pi. So then, 2x plus pi over 6 equal to here, okay, which is 2 pi and 4 pi. And also for pi. So simplify this, bring it to the side, and then say divide by 2, then x equal to 
11 by 11 okay 11 pi divide by 12 and also 23 pi divide by 12 okay so i leave to all of you one exercise for you to try and i do hope that my uh, videos really helps you to continue your we call your tutorial and your exercise and that's all for today thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a nice day